God's grace and peace be with you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to worship in this season of Epiphany. Today we have a bit of a different worship service planned. Our youth group has sort of taken on the fifth Sundays as their Compassion Cafe. And so today we're going to have some interactive portions. We're going to have some discussion time and do things a little bit different. And toward the end of worship, we're going to weave in our annual congregational meeting and review all of the things that we got to do last year and look forward to what is in store for 2022. So I'm glad you are here. I'm excited uh, as we engage with this creative form of worship. There's a kind of a new concept called messy church that a lot of churches are uh, experimenting with. And I think this is kind of in that spirit of messy church, uh, where it's a little less formal, a little less structured, um, but very much spirit filled as we engage with the word together. So as we continue to prepare our hearts and our minds for worship, I invite you, if you have a candle at home that you are able to light or maybe just a lamp uh, that you can light to remind us that Christ's presence 
is with us always, but especially as we gather as the body of Christ. And I'm going to invite Jacob, our liturgist, if you will lead us in our call to worship today. Let us gather around the watering place where streams of living water run and welcome, run and welcome. The foreigner, the outsider, the guest to this place of love. Let us welcome each other in the peace of Christ but by unmuting ourselves and offering the words, peace be with you. And also with you. And also with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. And also with you. Surprise. <laughs> Join me as we pray together. Living water, we gather and we chatter. We gather and we share. We gather and we drink together. Today, as we gather, we are amazed that you thirsted just as we thirst, that you needed companions just as we need companions. Help us not to be amazed at these simple things, water and words, for water and words are what brought holiness to life. Uh, living water, living word. We are awed by water and word. And yet, even as we are awed, we also find we need to seek forgiveness and wholeness, for we take them for granted. Forgive us when we are careless with our words. Forgive us when we squander the water. Forgive us when we forget that it was through God's unlimited love that the word joined us and the water brought us life. Forgive us forgetting that it was through the water and word that we have everything good. Living word, living water. We bring ourselves to you a gratitude and hope, trusting that your mercy is wide enough to forgive our sins. Amen. Now, uh, let us listen to Yes, Lord Melody uh, by Tony, sung by Tony McNeil.
Justice and joy. 